22nd year. And what the Mufti series consists of is concert versions of shows from the past that deserve to be seen again and are in danger of not being done if people like us don't do them. And we've done over 100 in the series now. This is, I think, number 108 we're coming up on. The three shows are Hallelujah Baby, Bar Mitzvah Boy, and Subways Are For Sleeping. Hallelujah Baby won Best Musical in 1968, and it chronicles the African-American struggle for equality during the first half of the 20th century. And Arthur Lawrence wrote the book, Julie Stein Music, and lyrics by Comden and Green. And I got the great fortune to do the uh, 2004, I would say revival, but it was, they were trying, Arthur was trying to put it up to bring it back to Broadway to have a revival. And so he rewrote it, rewrote the book, because the original book was for 20 people, and now this book that we're gonna be doing is for nine. And it was amazing to be in the room with Arthur, you know, who wrote it and understood it so well. And Hope Clark was the choreographer who was one of the original chorus girls in the show. So it was amazing to be in the room with the people who really did it in the beginning. Bar Mitzvah Boy was originally a teleplay written for the BBC by Jack Rosenthal. And it's this charming story of a Bar Mitzvah Boy who gets cold feet at the last moment, literally the last moment, as they call him up to the Torah, he bolts out of the synagogue. And of course the family drama that ensues from that. But what's really beautiful about the story is that he doesn't bolt because he's nervous. He bolts because of the hypocrisy he's seen in his parents and his grandparents, because he is being told this means you're a grown up. And he's sitting there saying, if that's what being a grown up is, I'm not sure I want to do that. Subways Are For Sleeping is a, a musical based on a book by Edmund G. Love called Subways Are For Sleeping, which was very popular in the uh, mid and late 50s. Uh, and it, it follows 12 different characters, uh, separate kind of New Yorker profiles on these very intricate, uh, complicated people who lived on the fringe and in subways, they slept in subways or lofts or warehouses, who some by choice, because they didn't know what they wanted to do with their lives, but they, they lived in hope and they, they took jobs and, and they were uh, sort of shepherded by one particular person who makes sure that they have access to food and shelter and knows where all the jobs are they could get. Uh, selling hot dogs, being a Santa, uh, where they could pick up enough money for the night, and he protected them. The music is so glorious. It's, you know, there's so many things about it's like it's so Julie stuff. You know, I mean, you you, you hear like oh, Dika, Dika, it's the like the marches and the things that he does so well. It's so amazing. I I, I can't wait for people to see it. Because I don't think, like, I don't think many people have seen Hallelujah Baby unless they went to George Street or Arena Stage when we did it. The show was uh, one of those classic cases of being in trouble out of town, and they tried many different plots and many different songs. And so, by the time it opened in New York, there were things that worked and things that didn't work. And uh, we're trying to clarify all those moments. If you keep working on something and have the right people to do it, it can really take off. And there have been a lot of shows like that, that people said, don't do that, it doesn't work. And we find that when you do it simply and cast it well and have a great director to make all of that happen, it can it can change the life of a show. But, you know, there's a lot of the scene in the show you see every day right now. We come like two steps forward and four steps back. And it's really interesting to, to visit it right now. And there's a, a character called Lillian Leaflets, and she says, in, this is what he wrote, Arthur wrote in 1967. He wrote something, he goes, we are in a depression, a real Republican depression. I hope you will come and see this Julie Stein Musicals and Mufti series that we're about to embark on here at the York Theater because, first of all, he's one of the great composers of the golden age of Broadway. And you know many of his wonderful, well-known shows, Gypsy, Funny Girl, etc. But these are three shows of his that are lesser known and they are gems. And that's why we're doing them, because they deserve to be seen again. Oh, you need to come see Hallelujah Baby because it's a great story about an African-American struggle and it's 
fantastic and still relevant today. You should come see Bar Mitzvah Boy because it's a charming show with a beautiful heartwarming score, a beautiful heartwarming family, and a story that is truly universal in its themes and its joy of family and growing up. You need to come to see Subway Sleep because you'll have an amazing time because it's fun and it shows the skill and craft of Comden Green and Stein and the energy with which they wrote this show just like radiates through, through the audience. You can feel their spirit. It's about hope and taking care of each other even in the worst of times and finding that hope even uh, when you don't have a place to sleep at night. Happy.